Welcome back, everyone. Twitch is here, and I am back yet again for yet another McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse video. And today comes courtesy of my friends over at McFarlane Toys. We have a look at two new entries for the DC Multiverse, a another Red Hood, we'll just say, and a member of the Justice League slash Teen Titans. Now, first and foremost, we have this new Red Hood from the dawn of DC era. They're kind of touting him as the modern Red Hood. Honestly, not one that I would ever go after. I appreciate them sending it out. We'll take a fair and balanced look at him, but no, this is definitely not one for me. But here's the barcode when these start to hit store shelves, if you are a looking. The other one, however, is definitely one that I wanted. We'll talk more about it as we kind of open it up and really examine the figure. But Vic Stone is looking pretty darn solid. He hails from the DC Rebirth era of DC Comics. Are you as confused yet by DC Comics as I am? Yeah. <laughs> Remember the good old days? It was simple, but regardless, this is going to be an absolute blast. So sit back, relax, grab yourself a nice hot cup of coffee. This is a look at two brand new installments for the McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse line, Cyborg and the Modern Red Hood. And so now here's everything taken out of the packaging. There's, well, a couple accessories between the two, more so on the Red Hood end, but, well, I guess Cyborg has something, even though it's kind of, yeah. Now, with Red Hood, you get extra hands. You get punchy hands, and you get trigger finger slash weapon holding hands. There is red paint on the backside, so I'm glad that they give you options. We'll just say that. Now, as far as the weapons go, you get a short blade katana. It's got red, it's got silver. And yes, even though he has trigger holding finger hands, he can hold the weapons. Likewise with this crowbar. If there's ever a Jason Todd figure, apparently he just has to have a crowbar. And it's kind of funny to think about it. He was beaten to death, pretty much, by a crowbar. And it's kind of like Batman, like utilizing the fear of the crowbar to overcome it. But yeah, it's the whole thing. Like, it's kind of overdone with the crowbar. And then he wants to beat the Joker all the time with the crow. It's just it's so dumb. But anyways, the Red Hood, like I said, this and this is from the comics. So we're not going to blame McFarlane Toys here. It's just not a look that I really go, oh, yeah, that looks so good. I believe most of this, at least some of this, is reused parts and pieces. He does have weapons storage on the back, which is odd weapons storage, especially for Katana. But then you can put the crowbar in there. It's just odd, to say the least. But, hey, at least you can kind of pose him out like he's reaching for his weapons I suppose that's a plus. But regardless, it's odd. It's odd the way they've utilized the weapon storage. Also, what is going on with the elbows? Very wrinkly. It's almost like they're reused. It used to be cloth, and now it's being used as skin, something or other. Even the wrappings, it it's the way the paint is applied with the red. It's not very good, I guess you would just say. The logo on the front, the jacket is not removable, just FYI, which means that hood is not going anywhere. I appreciate that he's trying to be on brand, Red Hood, get it? But you'll barely be able to move the head in there, and when you do, <laughs> I mean, you're seeing me do it in real time here. It's like he's just kind of knocking into the hood left and right. So as far as battling the forces of evil, yeah, I don't know about that. The whole hood should have been one separate piece. I don't know... Why? Just glue the hood to the top and make it kind of sit. I, I think for some of you, if you're interested, there is a whole headpiece in there. If you want to get in there and remove the head, by all means, have at it. Now, it's the standard DC Multiverse articulation. It's nothing new. It's nothing crazy. Those are one heck of a loyal subject's elbow right there. Woo! That's... <laughs> It doesn't look the best, so just saying, that actually looks pretty darn terrible. As far as the ab crunch go, you get a lot of momentum out of it. You got waist swivel as well. It's pretty solid. I'm actually impressed. They got some good articulation going there. So yeah, when you want to pose them out, at least you can utilize that. The legs, the diaper, everything else goes out. Double jointed knees, 
toe articulation, feet articulation, even though it has the balls. So it has a little bit more antiquated articulation, much like you'll see on the cyborg figure. It's kind of a mixed bag, but yeah, it seems to be a little bit of old and new reuse here and there when they've had it. Is it overall an okay figure if you're a fan of the Red Hood? But in terms of the wrists, at least with the fisted hands, they're solid. The weapon holding hands, when you swap them out, they're not loose to pull out. They're just loose in the rotation, as you can clearly see. It's just not solid in any way, shape, or form. But like I said, in terms of this specific look from DC Comics translated to an action figure, this thing has a lot of structural issues. I feel mainly in the red hood aspect of it. Loose parts, pieces here and there. The paint's not that great. It's just kind of humdrum, to be honest with you. In terms of Cyborg, he comes with this giant gun that they've reinstituted from a previous John Stewart Green Lantern. It was a construct. Now it's supposed to be his booyah cannon, that kind of thing. It makes him incredibly front heavy, so he's going to go toppling a lot unless you pose him kind of awkwardly. The gun itself... Now I looked, I did my usual DC Multiverse research. It's called Google, try it. A lot of you would find it very useful. It's never looked like this, so help me out down in the comments if you know. Now for the actual Vic Stone Cyborg figure, he was on display, revealed at San Diego Comic-Con. He looked great, he displays well, he looks great from far away. It's not until you really get up close where you go, oh, okay, this is a reuse of the Dark Knight's Metal Murder Machine Batman, which, is not necessarily a problem. Does it fit this era? Does it look like the cyborg from DC Rebirth? Not really. It's it's kind of a mixed bag. Yes and no. He's got antiquated ball joint articulation, which is going to kind of make him difficult to pose and stand from time to time. Though, I'll tell you, the, the head portrait really makes this special. That's a great head portrait. And to be honest with you, I love what they've done with the silver and the black and the red. While I'm one of those people where I like the original look of Cyborg, like Teen Titans Cyborg from days long gone by, I appreciate that design. I like this costume if you want to put him with your Justice League and whatnot. When it comes to attaching the cannon with the open hand, it's really not going to fly. You really have to remove the hand and slip on the arm cannon. It's not a problem. It stays on there nicely, but like I said, it makes him very, very forward heavy, so that's going to upset you when you try to pose him out. On the other side, what I found is that the hand goes in. You don't have to remove it, but the hand got stuck in the cannon. Then I had to heat the cannon up with the hand inside and pull it out. <laughs> it was a whole thing. Do I like this figure? I actually do like the look of this figure, antiquation and all. But is it good overall? Did they do a solid job? The paint looks good. The accessories just throw it to the corner because no, they, they didn't try there at all. In terms of the scalature, let's start it off with the red hood. You can match up various looks for Robin, Batman, the rest of the Bat family. Does he scale well? I would say right around the height of Batman, sure. For as much as I care about this look of the Red Hood, which I don't, so it doesn't really work for me. It's just kind of, yeah, I guess that's okay. This right here is my ideal Red Hood. I loved that look. You got the motorcycle jacket, you got the pistols, and yes, this modern Red Hood does still use guns, but he's really trying not to use them too much. However, as I know some of you are out there wondering, because he has the specific hands, he does hold the guns nicely. If you want to use prior guns with this new red hood, it's optional, of course. He does pose well with them. I still don't understand how Batman lets him get away with that. It just always seems like Batman's in the corner just going, you know, that that Jason, he's really trying. He's, he's, he's making the effort not to use those guns and killing people. In terms of Cyborg, like I said, this specific look now associated, at least for me, with the Justice League, that works. I think he scales well. I think he's red. I think that it's a lot better fit than the Flashpoint Build-A-Figure Cyborg. He's a lot more in scale. So thumbs up in that category. And along with more of the teen sidekicks, teen titans, of which I will post more photos on my Instagram of all of that. But yeah, that looks great 
as well. So that's going to wrap it up for my looks at two brand new McFarlane Toys DC Multiverse action figures, the modern Red Hood and Cyborg. And I got to tell you, Red Hood for me, no, that's a total pass. It's also got some issues here and there with how the figure works and everything else. With the exception of the antiquated articulation and then, of course, the big old blaster that really doesn't work for Vic Stone. Yeah, Cyborg looks good. That's really all I got. He's not going to be this overly articulated figure, much like we know with McFarlane Toys. But he does stand well with the Justice League, and you can put him with your Teen Titans member until we get a more on-spot model for the original look for Cyborg. So you've heard my thoughts and now I'm curious to know yours. Comment below. Let me know. Let's talk everything McFarlane toys. And again, thank you to the fine folks over McFarlane for sending these out for the purposes of this video. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember, we got one more advanced look coming up for DC Multiverse real quick. Like actually, it's more in the animated venue. And when we do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Adios.